This is me versus a purple belt for some competition training. He shoots in for a double, but turns the corner for a single as I keep a shallow overhook. Then I switch to a belt grip, but he switches to a tight waist that I roll out of as he gets a body lock. I hit post to make distance, but he shoots in as I back up and I sprawl to a tripod to avoid the points and I stand up and lean my weight back to break his body lock, but he goes back with me as I try to roll out. Since he has double underhooks, I try to Gramby and end up across his body as he looks for a crab ride. I fight the hooks and he comes up on double unders again so I can Gramby out and he keeps chasing the back. I stay flat and try to establish a guard as he looks for an over under pass. He needs to beat my right knee on his left side in order to pass, but I'm keeping a sleeve grip on his left arm to prevent him from passing his elbow over my knee. He bails to half guard trapping my bottom leg and I think I throw in either a butterfly hook here or a lasso on my left side to keep his upper body away from me. I get sleeve grips and push him away throwing up a lasso momentarily on my right side but since he combat based with his right knee up I switch to try to get deep de la Hiva underneath his right leg but he stands up to step out so he doesn't get swept. I pummel my right foot to his right shoulder to fix my hips and prevent the pass then I establish a spider hook with my left foot and use my right hook inside his knee to pull him back into me. I off balance him to his left with my spider hook to look for a bus driver sweep but he's pulling away from me and bases with his left knee too far for me to catch it. And again, since he's combat based with his right knee up, I switch my left spider hook to a De La Hiva hook and my right leg to a spider hook to look for a sweep from deep De La Hiva again. But just like last time, he stands up to high step out, stepping over my left leg and getting a high collar grip with his right hand to get into headquarters. I throw up a shallow lasso on my left side to keep the distance so he can't knee cut, and he keeps a pant grip with his left hand and a collar grip with his right hand so that he can step over for an X pass. My shallow lasso and short frames on the right side are temporarily blocking the pass while I push his chest with my left foot, get a sleeve grip, and begin to invert underneath since he exposed his legs to me. I go for the matrix, throwing my right leg as a hook over the back of his right knee as I use two grips on his calf and Achilles for control, and then I begin switching my right hand to a pant waist grip looking to switch to a crab ride for a back take. I made the mistake though of not blocking his left hip flexor with my left hook so he's able to high step out and spin, taking his back to the floor and avoiding the back take altogether. But since he put his back to the mat, he gives me the opportunity for a sweep. So I keep my grips and pull myself up slowly to reverse positions and end up stabilizing to score two points for the sweep. I extract my right foot and I hold the position for a little while as he keeps the distance with the key master on his right side. We're both a little tired and I start fainting for a collar grip with my left hand, but then decide it's probably a better idea to negate the key master position first and step over into half guard. I feel though like I don't have enough mat space to long step to my left side because I'll need to rotate to north south most likely to finish the pass. So I switch to an arm weave with my right arm, post out on my left hand, and then windshield wipe my right shin to try to pin his bottom leg to the floor so that I can knee slide. But he pulls his bottom leg away, so I stand up to look for a crazy dog pass, but I have a bad grip with my left hand and he's framing really well with his left leg. As he stands up, I try to cut the corner for a single leg and he sits back into butterfly guard as I start to catch a body lock to begin body lock passing. I sprawl my right hip to beat one of his butterfly hooks and step to half guard, and then the round ends as I knee slide through. And that's it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next one.